Here's a little video tutorial of the ELO hot water timer. Um, so this is uh, in, a, in, a, in the switchboard there. Um, we've got a little cover on here. So you, using a pen is a good idea. You can flick that cover up. And here you see in the top left you've got um, the timer. It's got a little arrow here. So that's on the timer. So you're on the time function now. If you push that up, that just means it's on all the time. Um, and if you push that down, uh, that means the cylinder's off. So you do that if you're going away for a few weeks or something, and if you had a family coming or lots of load, you push that up to on. Now to adjust the timer, you can only push, uh, turn this um, down, or um, and this time around here is a 24-hour clock, so if we, it's 7 a.m., and there's a little pointer there, we turn that down, and see here we've got this set to come on at 11 o'clock, Means you're going to have lots of nice solar generation there and the element's going to come on. It's only going to heat to thermos that temperature anyway. Um, and then so we turn that round and we'll see that will go off at, at 1600 hours or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's good for winter hours. And you just uh, turn this round. It's, it's 5 o'clock now, so it's uh, what's well, quarter past 5. So it's just uh, set the time there and that'll, that'll keep going. It's better to use this switch here than it is to use the hot water switch there because the timer will keep operating so that's just a little tutorial on the yellow hot water timer